here I am doing it again. I promised you I'd do it today, and uh, I am. So, today, if you couldn't tell from the title of the video, we're going to take a look back on when every iPhone was released, um, the names, the operating systems, and the size of the screens, just how much they've changed. So, basically, I'm going to show you here all of these iPhones, dates and stuff, and iOS systems. You can get a good look at those. Um, I'm going to kind of tell you about the controversial things of those phones and uh, basically those phones. I'm going to tell you about those phones. So first thing we're going to start off is with a 2G. So a lot of people said that this thing is a tank. Uh, it was the first iPhone ever. I think it's one of the first phones, iPhones with touch screen. And that phone obviously had a headphone jack. <laughs> get it because the new iPhones don't have head never mind um, but that one had a recessed headphone jack so you couldn't use the headphones that you use today you'd have to use an adapter that it came with the box and that was released on June 29th 2007 that was over 11 years ago that was like 11 years and 19 days yeah 11 years and 19 days I think correct me if I'm wrong so that started out with 1.0, but listen to this. You couldn't swipe through the screen, right? So you couldn't swipe like you could here. I'm gonna open this up quick. You couldn't do this, all right? You couldn't do any of that. There wasn't even an app store. You could only do SMS, so there was no such thing as iMessage, for those of you who love that. No FaceTime, there was no front camera like this guy, no front camera. The back camera wasn't that good at all, but for the day, it was amazing. And that system now, the latest it can get is 3.1.3. I'm gonna try to speed these up uh, because it's gonna take a while. Some of them are grouped together. So that's exactly uh, what I'm gonna do. You have the iPhone 3G and the iPhone 3GS. These two were released at different times. Uh, the 3G, 2008, July 11th, and the 3GS, is June 19th, 2009. So the 3G was just, was it seven days? Hold on. No, it's six days after that day when it was released is today. Confusing, right? I know, that's the point. And I think that came out with 2.0. And oh, by the way, there's no wallpapers yet. And none of these phones could film video. That latest version now is 4.2.1, I think. The iPhone 3GS, that June 19th, 2009, that is in the later iOS system, the operating system. That's when you could start getting wallpapers. That's when you could start swiping through the screens to get different um, pages in those screens. All right, and that one came with video. It wasn't very good video and still no front-facing camera. The iPhone 4, which this is the 4S, which I'll get to in a minute, um, was released June 24th, uh, 2010. And that came with, I think, iOS 4. And iOS 4, I don't know exactly what was in that, but I think you still didn't have Siri and stuff like that. I think iOS 6.1.3 came with Siri, or iOS 5. Um, then... That latest one, the latest iOS software system, is 7.1.2. Now we come to the 4S. This thing came with an okay back camera. It wasn't amazing. It came with a nice screen. The 4, by the way, did have a retina screen. Um, it came with, if you're a tech geek, it came with 326 pixels per inch, which in today's standards... As you can see, it's not that bad. And that was the last phone with a 3.5 inch screen. Um, and this is the latest one on this is I was 9.3.5 and I forgot it was October 14th, 2011. Then came the iPhone 5, which I don't have. I have the one that came after that. And that one is the last um, old school type iOS system. 
So if you don't know what that means, if you know what skeuomorphic means, basically on the dock, on the bottom, the apps were reflective, it had depth. Now it's kind of flat, which I'll get to flat in a minute. But the iPhone 5 came out on September 21st, 2012, and that came with iOS 6, and the latest version is iOS 10.3.3. This is where we're going to start speeding things up, because... You know, it just take forever if I did every individual one. All right. Um, the iPhone 5C and 5S. Now, I have the 5S here. This is the one that started your iOS design you have today. And for those of you with an SE, I know it kind of looks like an SE. If it was an SE, sorry, I have a big Apple logo covering it. But the SE would show around here. So they'd show SE and it have it's basically the same type of design. Um, this came with Touch ID, which we still have today, but it's no more a clickable home button, if you can hear that. Yeah, no more clicking home button. It kind of vibrates in your hand. Um, this phone came with iOS 7, and it is still running iOS 12 and up. And, then, and uh, that phone was released September 20th, 2013, along with the 5C, which you know, it doesn't have a, again, geek mode activated, it doesn't have a 64-bit architecture to actually run the system that you can today. Basically, what that means is it just can't handle. It, it, it physically, the body of the phone can't handle the operating system if you put iOS 12 on it. It, you know, it's kind of, it was a plastic shell, I guess, so it kind of felt cheaper, but it was still a nicer phone. Um... And, why it's a headphone jack. Wow, that's really amazing. And it's kind of more of a brick design, kind of the same thing with the 5C. The next phone is iOS, oh, no, it's the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, which to this day, correct me if I'm wrong, is the most bought iPhone ever. In the whole existence of Apple, that is the most bought iPhone ever with both, the 6 and the 6 Plus. I think now, I think on release day, like two or three months after, they sold like 12 million iPhones. So that was a really popular phone. And that one came out September 19th, 2014. That came with iOS 8. And it can still run iOS 12 and up. By the way, just to speed things along, again... The iPhone, after this point, all these iPhones can run iOS 12 and up, which, by the way, hasn't been released yet. It's still in beta. Um, if you search Apple beta in Safari, you can actually get the beta. It's still a little unstable. The phone gets a little hot at sometimes. But uh, just for your info, all those phones can run that and up. Then the next is the 6S and the 6S Plus. <sighs> wow. 6S, 6S Plus, try saying that five times fast. That phone was released September 25th, 2015. Uh, that was the first phone with um, a better build than the 6. By the way, the 6 was just flimsy, especially with those with that huge 6 Plus. You put that in your pocket and you sit on it. People actually had their phones bend. Uh, Bendgate, if any of you have seen those videos by Unbox Therapy and stuff like that. He did Apple Bengate where he just bent the phone right in half. Now, these two phones, the 5S and the 4S, I have tried bending this guy and it does not bend. Like, I can't bend it. It's impossible to bend this unless you're Hulk. And those phones, again, came with 4K, 30 frames per second. I think came with optical video. No, optical image. Oh, the 6S Plus and the 6 Plus came with image stabilization, and the 6S came with video and image stabilization. The next one is the iPhone SE. Kind of a weird one. Um, remember before when I said that the 5S kind of looks like the SE? Well, that's exactly what I'm talking about. The iPhone SE came out on March 31st, 2016. So it's kind of halfway through the next iPhone and the earlier iPhone. That oh, by the way, 
the success in the SE came with iOS 9. I think the SE came with 9.3. That's, I mean, it was only about three years ago, two and a half to three years ago. So that operating system really isn't that old. It just kind of feels slow um, by today's standards. The iPhone SE had all the internals and the camera of the success, but the front facing camera was only a um, 1.2 megapixel, which that means it's not that good at all. The success came with a five megapixel. So it's kind of weird. They took some of the components of the success, but the body of the 5S. Here. The so next one, which I think a lot of people hated was the 7 and the 7 Plus. So, the 7 and the 7 Plus, number one, didn't come in the headphone jack. Number two, no physical home button. And number three, I have no third. Those are the only two bad things about these phones. But, speed wise, these things were beasts on iOS 10. Yes, these things came with iOS 10, which was only a year old, I think. A year and two thirds, let's call it. Um, the 7 Plus came with two cameras, and all the Plus phones before only came with one. It came with still 4K 30, so that's, by today's standards, an average phone, I guess. The front-facing camera was a 7 megapixel. It is amazing. I think the 7 Plus is still worth it, uh, if you have the money. And that was released on September 16th, 2016, getting very close to my birthday. I'm not going to tell you where it is or when it is. Um, and that came with iOS 10.0, and it can still run, obviously, the iOS versions today. Yes, please. <coughs> I'm sorry. I have allergies. Then came the 8 and the 8 Plus. Uh, they just came out, like, less than a year ago. Um, I really don't know what to say about these two phones. Um, there's not much has changed between the 8 and the 7 Plus, you know, um, well, those two phones, the 7 and the 8. The 8 came with 4K 60. The 8 Plus came with portrait mode on the back, and I think the same thing with the 7 Plus. Not quite sure. They came with a glass back, a little bit faster. Uh, they were released September 22nd, 2017. They came with iOS 11. Um, so really not much change with those two phones. Now, the most controversial iPhone change ever is the iPhone 10. You know it. You will all love it, the iPhone 10. So this phone only comes in two colors, and it comes with no different size changes. Um, oh, gosh, darn, I completely forgot the size of the screens, but I'll do that after. Um, that phone came out on November 3rd, 2017. Uh, that came with iOS 11, uh, gosh, 11.2, I think. I think that came with 11.2. By the way, fun fact, the reason the iPhone 10 has a notch is because they couldn't fit all those components in a little spot up on the top of the phone. So kind of up here, they had to bring it down more. I think it would look ugly if it didn't have that notch. I think that notch actually helps it look better than it actually does. All right, and that's it. That's all I have for you. Okay, I'm going to show you the screen sizes, and I'm done. I'm going to let you do whatever you were going to do. I literally don't know how long this video is, um, but I'm going to show you the screen sizes of each of the phones. So the 2G through the 4S came with a 3.5-inch screen. The 5 through the SE came with a 4-inch screen. The 6 through the 8 came with, well, comes with... A 4.7 inch screen all the plus models come with a 5.5 inch screen and the iPhone 10 no not X the iPhone 10 comes with a 5.8 inch screen now the same thing with the 5 and the 5s they took those phones out a year after they came out I don't know why uh, they just did it um, by the way they're coming out with new iPhones this year why wouldn't they they're coming out with three new iPhones, a 6.1 inch iPhone, no double camera in the back, a 10 plus, and a regular iPhone 10 that's going to take the place of the iPhone 10 now. It's so close, guys. It's so close. Sorry. It is so close. We're almost there. 
We're almost there to Creepy Elf Saturday. Stay tuned until Saturday to see Creepy Elf Saturday. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you Saturday. Mm -hmm.